always been fascinated with insects. It's actually prepping the insects that is my, still my favorite part. And oftentimes, as sort of a managerial position, I am not disgruntled, but a lot of my time will be doing things that are not pinning insects. I think in a general way, it's like any job, the very first thing is you have a set of tasks to do at the beginning of a day. But once you've mapped that out for yourself, you become involved with the actual materials. And it's all of us actually who have come through this department are artists. So these are sort of great raw materials to work with. And you often, even just going to the museum, I'll see things that I never paid attention to. So there's always something new to perceive or see. These insects are farmed and immediately collected by the people in the area. Usually, if they're really deep in the woods, they won't be brush clearing all of the natural flora and fauna that they subsist on. And so as the cycle goes, they'll collect them off the grounds as they die, and they usually just fold themselves up. And if they're packaged and preserved immediately, meaning stored somewhere with, say, mothballs, that will stop any kind of internal parasite. But essentially, anything in nature that's left on the ground long enough will be completely consumed by whatever beetles or other insects, parasites, any number of things, rain, sun, etc. If you are pinning and you're working, it's like macro sculpture. And if you're doing it all day, your neck can be killing you at the end of the day, your eyes sting, it's, and you have sort of physical repercussions of the day. And yeah, sometimes if it's overwhelming and a whole bunch of other stuff, you want to go home and barely eat dinner and plop on the couch and forget about it all. But I keep coming back. <laughs>